today was an unusual budget address. Uh, it's oddly enough given on Groundhog Day, February 2nd, and it is uh, much as we have seen in many state of the state addresses, it's, it was very flowery. It used a lot of um, colloquial symbolisms and the like, but in the end, it glossed over what is most important to people living in Illinois right now. They are facing extremely high taxes. We have one of the highest tax overtax state in the nation. And it, he totally glossed over how difficult it is for the average family to make ends meet right now. We have very high gasoline prices. We have exorbitant food costs that are facing families. We have rising utility bills. And uh, certainly he offered some very temporary solutions, but at the same time, he is increasing spending for programs in the billions that are permanent uh, expenditures that we're gonna have to face for the state. So um, uh, on the uh, grocery prices, a uh, 1% abatement in just uh, the cost of food is a little appeasement to a working mom trying to feed her family when inflation is at 8%. So it, it just seemed like uh, he was trying to tell everything, tell everyone that all things are great, when in reality, I don't hear that from the average family in Illinois. They don't think things are great at all. They are uh, focusing on the, the hazards and the, the difficulties they face every day. So I, the governor can spin it any way he wants. And he said he's an optimist. I am too. I know Illinois has the resources and it has great people to make it a great state, but we are not there right now. And his plans are only going to burden us next year. He um, is trying to gloss over much mismanagement of this administration and not really address the concerns of the average working family in Illinois. So uh, I, I will continue to work on the issues that are most important to Illinois families right now, and that's helping them get through a pandemic and helping them um, figure out how to afford food and necessities that they need to supply their families and look to cutting more state expenditures that we don't need at this time. We need to focus on helping our citizens make ends meet. 